welcome children of class 10th this is my second video in the third chapter acid bases and salts so children today we are going to learn about bases and the definition is the base is uh, either a metallic oxide or a metallic hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide which reacts with hydronium ion of an acid to form salt and water only now this only word is very important for example children copper oxide which is a metallic oxide and magnesium hydroxide which is a metallic hydroxide so if you see copper oxide reacts with the hydrochloric acid to give you salt copper chloride and water magnesium hydroxide reacts with the uh, sulfuric acid to give you salt magnesium sulfate and water in the same way children aluminium hydroxide reacts with nitric acid to give you aluminium nitrate and water and ammonium hydroxide reacts with uh, hydrochloric acid to give you ammonium chloride and water now children basic oxide a basic oxide is a metallic oxide which contains the oxide ion or the o2 minus ion and reacts with an acid to form salt and water only note the importance of the word only in this definition if it is omitted certain compounds which are quite different from basic metallic oxides and hydroxides would be included in the definition of base like for example children lead uh, uh, or plumbic oxide or lead 4 oxide is a metallic oxide which reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce lead chloride a salt and water but the word only excludes it from the class of bases because chlorine is also produced so children if you see this equation lead oxide plus 4 hcl is giving you lead chloride plus water plus chlorine is also obtained so thus lead 4 oxide is not a base then children when we talk about basic hydroxide it is a metallic uh, hydroxide which contains OH negative ion or hot hydroxyl ion and will react with an acid to give salt and water only. For example, children, sodium hydroxide, aluminium hydroxide and uh, basic hydroxide, they react with acids to give you salt and water like NaOH plus SCl is giving us salt, NaCl and water. Now children, there is another word called alkalis. Now an alkali is a basic hydroxide which when dissolved in water produces hydroxyl ion as the only negatively charged ions. For example, NaOH when it is dissolved in water it produces sodium ion and hydroxyl ion or hydroxide ion. So children, this is an alkali and we can say that an alkali is a base which is soluble in water. So all alkalis form hydroxide or hydroxyl ion. Uh, in aqueous solution as the only negative ion and they turn red litmus blue so children all metallic oxides and hydroxides are insoluble except of sodium potassium calcium which are highly soluble thus the most common soluble bases or alkalis are sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and uh, uh, calcium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide so these are called alkalis because they dissolve in water and children the first two that is NaOH and KOH are strong alkalis because they are completely dissociated in their aqueous solution and the last two that is calcium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide they are weak alkalis because they are feebly dissociated or ionized in their aqueous solution now children all the alkalis are bases but all the bases are not alkalis for example ferric hydroxide and cupric hydroxide are bases but not alkalis because they are insoluble in water now children as we classified acids now we classify the bases also and the first basis of classification is on the basis of their strength a strong alkali it undergoes almost complete dissociation in aqueous solution to produce high concentration of hydroxyl ion so when uh, strong alkalis they dissolve in water they produce high percentage of hydroxyl ion for example sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide in aqueous solution in water they give you sodium ion and hydroxyl ion 
पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड गिव्स यू पोटेशियम आयन एंड हाइड्रोक्साइल आयन एंड चिल्ड्रन अ वी कैलकुली इट अंडर गोज ओनली पार्शल डिसोसिएशन और आयोनाइजेशन इन एक्व सोल्यूशन टू प्रोड्यूस लो कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोक्साइल आयन इन सोल्यूशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड दे ऑल्सो आयोनाइज बट द डिग्री ऑफ आयोनाइजेशन और डिसोसिएशन इज लेस सो चिल्ड्रन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर एसिडिटी नाउ वी कैन ऑल्सो क्लासीफाई दैम ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर एसिडिटी नाउ द नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोक्सिल आइन विच कैन बी प्रोड्यूस पर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ अ बेस इन एक्व सोल्यूशन और द नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आइन ऑफ एन एसिड विद विच अ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ दैट बेस विल रिएक्ट टू प्रोड्यूस सॉल्ट एंड वाटर ओनली इज नोन एज एसिडिटी ऑफ अ बेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल मोनोएसिटिक बेस इट इज अ बेस दैट डिसोसिएट्स इन मोल्टन और इन फ्यूज स्टेट और इन एक्व सोल्यूशन टू प्रोड्यूस वन ओ एच आइन पर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ दैट बेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन ए ओ एच के ओ एच अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड दे ऑल डिसोसिएट्स इन वाटर a uh, solution or in aqueous solution to give you one hydroxyl ion then children diacetic base it is a base that dissociates in molten state or in aqueous state uh, to produce two hydroxyl ion per molecule of that base for example calcium hydroxide caoh whole twice copper hydroxide when they dissolve in water they produces two hydroxyl ion for water children in soluble hydroxide acidity is equal to the number of replaceable oh ion in one molecule of that base then children when we talk about triacetic base it is a base that dissociates in aqueous solution to produce three hydroxyl ion say for example per molecule of a base or contains three replaceable it contains children three replaceable hydroxyl ion per molecule for example aluminium hydroxide or ferric hydroxide when they dissociates in water they produces three hydroxyl ion now children this is on the basis of their number of hydroxyl ion produced by one molecule of a base now children we come to the preparation of bases now the common method for preparation of bases are from metals now children metals when react with oxygen they give bases for example sodium it reacts with oxygen to give you sodium oxide magnesium reacts with oxygen to give you magnesium oxide then the second method of preparation is by the action of water on reactive metal like sodium potassium calcium so sodium reacts with water to give you naoh that is a base or an alkali and it produces hydrogen and the same way potassium reacts with water to give you potassium hydroxide and hydrogen and calcium reacts with water to give you calcium hydroxide and hydrogen so children uh, we can even produce these alkalies with the help of water when metals highly active metals they react with water they give you these alkalies or bases then children by the action of water on soluble metallic oxide like oxides of sodium potassium and calcium let's say for instance sodium oxide when it dissolves in water it produces sodium hydroxide and alkali potassium oxide it reacts with water to give you potassium hydroxide calcium oxide reacts with water to give you calcium hydroxide so this is the third method of preparation then children the next is by double decomposition method and children this method of preparation is very important because this we will be using in the analytical chemistry also because aqueous solution of salts with the, a base or alkali precipitate their respective metallic hydroxide so for example children ferric chloride when it reacts with a base or an alkali naoh it forms ferric hydroxide and this ferric hydroxide is formed as a precipitate as a solid and children these precipitates which form they have a special color or they have a particular color for example ferric hydroxide shows a color of brick red now plus nacl is formed then children copper sulfate reacts with naoh to give you copper hydroxide uh, aluminum chloride reacts with ammonium hydroxide to give you aluminum hydroxide and all these are precipitates they form solids in soluble compounds now children the next is by the action of oxygen on metal sulfides for example zinc sulfide when it is reacted with oxygen it forms zinc oxide a base 
and uh, sulfur dioxide in the same way lead sulfide reacts with oxygen to give you lead oxide plus sulfur dioxide so by the action of oxygen on metal sulfides then children next is by decomposition of salts now children salts like carbonates of calcium and copper when you heat them they decompose to form basic oxides and carbon dioxide is released CaCO3 when it is heated it gives you calcium oxide a base or a basic oxide and carbon dioxide and copper carbonate when it is heated gives you copper oxide and carbon dioxide note children sodium and potassium carbonates do not decompose on heating and then the next is children by heating metal nitrates uh, if you heat metal nitrates you get basic oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen for example calcium nitrate when it is heated it gives you calcium oxide a basic oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen in the same way zinc nitrate when it is heated it gives you zinc oxide a basic oxide nitrogen dioxide and oxygen note children sodium and potassium nitrate do not give metal oxides and when they are decomposed in the same way children ammonium hydroxide can also be prepared simply by dissolving ammonia gas in water and ammonia gas is children extremely or very very soluble in water so ammonia ns3 plus water gives you ammonium hydroxide and it is a weak alkali now children we come to the properties of bases or alkalis their properties are that they have sharp and bitter taste they change the color of the indicators for example for lithmus they change from red to blue methyl orange they change from orange to yellow and philophthalene solution which is colorless is changed to pink and insoluble bases do not affect these indicators so uh, then then the next uh, property is children they are soapy substances and they are slippery to touch if you uh, rub them on your finger you will see them in that they are having a soapy touch then caustic soda and caustic potash are strong alkalis caustic soda is NaOH caustic potash is KOH they are strong alkalis we know that alkalis react with oil to form soap since our skin contains oil in the form of fat hence when we touch caustic soda or caustic potash a reaction takes place and soapy solutions are formed so children these are regarding their physical properties now we come to their chemical properties a strong alkalis absorbs carbon dioxide from air to form carbonates so for example NUH uh, reacts with carbon dioxide of the atmosphere and it forms sodium carbonate plus water in the same way children uh, KOH potassium hydroxide reacts with carbon dioxide to form potassium carbonate and water then children they neutralize acids to form salt and water this is neutralization reaction all the alkalis or bases when they react with acids they form salt and water as two examples are given COH whole twice plus SCL is giving you salt CaCl2 calcium chloride plus water then children ferrous hydroxide is reacting with hydrochloric acid to give you ferrous chloride plus water the other is uh, uh, when you react NaOH with SCL you get NaCl plus water then the next is children they precipitate as insoluble metallic hydroxides when added to the solution of the salt of heavy metals which is copper iron zinc etc for example children if you uh, react copper sulfate and ammonium hydroxide you get ammonium sulfate and insoluble hydroxide copper hydroxide is formed this is having a blue ppt so it is forming a blue ppt then children zinc sulfate when it reacts with NUH it gives you sodium sulfate and an insoluble hydroxide that is zinc hydroxide this zinc hydroxide children is gelatinous white then ferrous sulfate reacts with NUH to give you uh, sodium sulfate and ferrous hydroxide this ferrous hydroxide children is dirty green in color and uh, it gives other test also or other insoluble hydroxides also with other metallic salts note hydroxides of zinc aluminium and lead being amphoteric by nature dissolves in excess of NUH or KOH but uh, other hydroxide do not children now the word amphoteric oxide has come over here and it is saying that uh, zinc aluminium and lead 
their hydroxide they are amphoteric in nature amphoteric means that they show the properties of both acids and bases so children once zinc hydroxide or aluminium hydroxide or lead hydroxide is formed because of its amphoteric nature it again reacts with excess of alkalis and it forms an insoluble uh, salt like znoh whole twice plus uh, sodium hydroxide is giving you sodium zincate plus water when alkalis are warmed with ammonia salt ammonia gas is given out say for example children uh, ammonium chloride when it is warmed with uh, alkali NaOH you get ammonia gas plus salt plus water then ammonium chloride with calcium hydroxide also give you calcium chloride water plus ammonia ammonium sulfate with KOH gives you potassium sulfate water and ammonia so children this is uh, that all these uh, ammonium salts when they are reacting with alkalis they are giving you ammonia gas this this reaction or these reactions we can use in the preparation of ammonia now children we come to the uses of these bases now like sodium hydroxide uh, it is used for the manufacturing of soaps potassium hydroxide it is used for the manufacturing of salts and soaps and used in batteries calcium hydroxide which is also called as slaked lime it is used for manufacturing of bleaching powder and softening of hard water magnesium hydroxide is reduced as an antacid it is used as an antacid to reduce the acidity of our stomach then aluminium hydroxide it is used as a foaming agent it is used in fire extinguishers ammonium hydroxide is used to remove grease stains from clothes magnesia that is mgo is used in making refractory bricks of the of the of the ovens then calcium oxide is used as a drying agent and as a flux so children this is regarding the basis the next part of it will continue in the next video i will also give you a revision of basis in my next video thank you very much children